Hey, yo. That's in honor of Scott Hall, a.k.a. Razor Ramon. Rest in peace. One of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Uh, we are FLX Beer Reviews. So this dope. is another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan. The if you hear anything, there's, it's almost like crickets chirping. What crickets are we chirping? Because we have not come back to the motherland in such, such a long time. It's high time. The best brewery in America, at least my best brewery in America, comes back to the channel in the form of Other Half Brewing Company. This is their Crickets. This is a 5.1 ABV Pilsner. Now, Crickets is a series in which they do different hops. This, my friends, was the Saz plus my favorite hop, Motueka. Oh. Uh, Canon 111 22, so we're about. Two and a half months in. So we pulled this off Dan's shelf, uh, where he keeps his shelfy beer. It's right next to uh, your Dale's Pale Ale, your Pork Slap, <laughs> if you will. Dude, I... Uh, oh. Oh, my You pour gosh. and then I Look pour. at that. <laughs> you got as much as you got beer. But that's what you want from a beer like this, right? Yeah. Oddly enough, it's it, this is not... Uh, I'm going to rock and roll the same way. This is not an IPA from Other Half, which is Thank weird for... God. Whatever, they're good. Are they? They are. They are overrated. Okay, so this is just a fantastic looking clear beer. Nice foamy, rocky head on the top. A Look golden... at your color versus mine, and this is... It's got to be the light. It's got to be, because this is, oh, a, what, the second or third time yeah. this has happened? Well, yeah, see. My you want to drink like this, too? Um, so yeah, it, it's, but, but the head is sticking around for a nice clear beer like this, because it, it would that, would that be the other half quality you so, so routinely talk about? Okay. No, uh, uh seriously, uh, it's, it's got a nice hefty, fluffy kind of rocky road kind of head. That like sticks around. Saying, yeah. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. It's holding it on uh, that flavor. There's a slight haze to it, a little bit chill haze. But there's a slight. But that's what you want. Goldeny. I, I mean, it looks. It, it looks know. like a crust. And look at the look at the lacing, <laughs> like the legs on that thing. It's yeah. like this is a high quality crusher beer. Right. Uh, your high end shelfies. Hey, if you see, want. here's the thing. Here's the. Thing. Tell me the thing before Dan. we dive in. Here's the. Thing. <sighs> Let's get a lesson. The price on these, it damn well better be below three dollars. I per can. Well. No, it's a bit more. I think I paid like six, 14, 14 for you the You just four lowered pack. my rating. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's high quality stuff. I agree. I agree. Uh, full transparency, we've both had this beer yeah, before, yeah. Um, but we haven't reviewed it. So let's get a whiff on this. I don't care. It's, it's care. delicious. I just want to, <laughs> I wanted another excuse to open a can. Look at that swirl. Like, that is, that's hot butchery. <sighs> it's clean, crisp. Oh, clean, crisp, and bready. Yeah, very bready. With a touch of sweetness behind it. Grassy. Uh, it, it's it's your your normal Crusher Pilsner style beers, but it's got more of a thickness in the aroma. Um, I'm getting like a honey. Uh, no, like I, it's got the Motoika. Like the Motoika is definitely showing through for me. It's got that sunshine, it's sunshine, it's sunshine bright and bright and grassy. Just wafts of just fresh cut grass and this lemon and lime. This smells like four in the afternoon when you've just got done cutting grass. The sun's a-shining. There's a nice, cool breeze blowing. It's 2.44 in the afternoon, and we're about to uh, enjoy this. So We have not cut the grass, but anyway. Cheers, cheers. to you. Okay. So, it's got, like, the body is heftier than your normal crisp, clean crushers. Um, it's got it a is. nice little subtle sweetness to it. The bready aspect is there. Uh, it's got a softness, though. Like, there is an, there's an unexpected softness to this beer. Uh, you've just finished cutting the grass. The sun is shining 
Those cl- those nice clouds are rolling in. The happy clouds. I feel they're, like, not, they're not rainy clouds. Like, they're happy clouds. Mm-hmm. And you know what? A couple of the clouds drift into your beer. And you know what? Mm-hmm. They roll down your tongue, roll through your palate. Dude. Uh, everything you said and more. Seriously, that body, it is fantastic. 5.1 Pilsner. This is the thicker body. Yes. And I enjoy that. And it's just, it is just a, a, a bouquet. Bouquet. Not oh, bucket. Fuck. A hyacinth bucket. Yeah. Bouquet. It's pronounced bouquet. It's like a bouquet of floral. If anyone gets that reference, I will be shocked. I didn't get it. Uh, no, it's it's very floral. It is. It, it comes off very, it very is. floral. It is a... I just keep going back to the backyard. Of There's plants growing, there's flowers growing, there's fresh cut grass. It's a bright, sunny blue skies with some clouds rolling through. That's what it tastes See, like. See, with all that being said, though, even though it's got that nice floral, grassy, biscuity thing, it yep. finishes a bit clean. And it, oh, you want to go time. back and forth. It doesn't leave uh, like an off aftertaste to me, at least. Um, I think it it, it it straddles the line of where you want to go back for more that that fine timeline of the the flavors stick around just long enough where you want to go back for another sip versus the oh flavors are gone. I got to go back for another sip where you're hammering the beer. I'll tell you what, you if, know? I, if I want a flavorful knock around beer. At a, at a barbecue or whatever. This is a solid choice. I think it would be a very solid choice. Now, like I said, it's different in the series. There's different hops and whatever. This yeah. just happens to be Saz and Motueka. I love Motueka. Mm. I like what it brings to the table. I, I think, think I would get that lemony aspect yeah, from I think, the Motueka, the I lime. Think, I think I've had, oh, man. I've had a few other. I think I had one with Nelson in it. That was Ooh, interesting. Okay, that's, yeah. I would be interested to try one. So, I don't know. As it stands, what do you rate this? Well, I think I already rated it on Untapped, and I couldn't tell you what I gave it. But this is a... I think I gave it a high score. Okay. I will give it, like, right off the cuff, 4.2. Yeah. I think it's, like, a 4.25. I might even rate this, like, a 4.5. Mm-hmm. Closer to a 4.3, because I don't pay for the fancy one where you can... Do whatever you rate it. Who does that? Uh, in the world of craft beer, cheap beer, this is right up. It is the cheap beer within the craft beer. And uh, this was a, a DC brewed, by the way. Um, Green and Cat. we know that because he is the other half master. <sighs> Speak to me, my children. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, when you can find uh, a solid craft brewery that does Crispy Boys like this, it just feels good to... It's such a palate cleanse. It, it just feels it's good. It's so it good. It feels drink. good. It makes you happy. That's all I can say mm. about it. Uh, down in the description below, make us happy. Make us happy. Please. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, yeah, Instagram, Twitters. Instagram, FLX Beer Reviews. Twitter, FLX Beer Reviews. We each have our own untapped. Let's be friends. Let's do uh, it. You can see how many other half shelfies that I check in because it's the number yeah. is astronomical. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. It's insane. Quite a bit. Feels good to have other half back on the channel, Blake. Yes, it does. It's been on hiatus, but feels good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.